go in there. Ah! <laughs> You get some spotlight and everything. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Buxu. Check the link down below to get your own authentic Japanese snack subscription box using the code NerdyCrafter10. All right, we have a video that is food related. You know what that means? Time to bring in Sika. Some say she never stops eating. Others assume that her fingers are constantly being licked. Yes, my sister. So we're gonna just make sure the chair is perfectly fine and. I was pretty sure I was at work. Yeah, but now you're with me. Okay. Okay, you're gonna have to tell my boss about this because that's how did I, when did I get here? Don't worry, I will call them and let you know that you're calling in sick. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Super awkward. Like, hey. <laughs> hey Greens, welcome to Cash or Trash. Joining me today is my sister Sika. Yo, you didn't forget me this time. That was not nice. I was like so like butthurt. I was like me. Recap to what <laughs> happened. Last time Sika and I did a video together, I kind of skipped over her introduction and this is what happened. Today we have a really exciting candle kit. Today there's me. <laughs> you forgot to mention me. <laughs> <laughs> Cash or Trash is the episode where we review multiple craft kits to make sure that I waste my money and you don't. So that craft kits don't end up in, in the trash. <laughs> Today, Sika has no idea what we're going to be testing, but you grains already know. We're going to be testing food, not real food, slime kits that smell like real foods, <laughs> including spicy Cheetos Ugh. and dumplings. Why? That's gonna be so bad. <laughs> it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be nauseating, I think. I don't remember the exact amount, but this is how many we have, quite a bit. So we're gonna let you know if it smells good, does it feel good, and does it sound good. I'm a little concerned, but let's go on. So as you can see on the desk, we have everything from dumplings, ramen, Sika, what else do you see? Salad? Mm -hmm. Why do we have salad? Because, it's so weird. <laughs> and apparently the salad is supposed to smell like cucumber, melon, something like that. Interesting. Something like that. All right. And let's not forget, of course, Cheetos. We have so many different kinds of scents. I am so excited to try them because... There's fruity cereal. No, I want fruity cereal. Mm -hmm. Do you have some? Mm -mm. Wow, you're a bad sister. Uh, wow! <laughs> wow, you're judging my character? Mode. Attack mode right away. <laughs> you brought me here to eat and it's not even real food. No, but at least you can smell food. Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. Let us know which one you are the most excited for in the comment section below as you can see them all on the desk over here. Which one are you excited about? I think I'm most excited for the actual dumplings. I want the Reese's ones. The Reese's. Yeah, yes. that's true. We also have Reese's. Yes. By the way, for those of you new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you click on all notifications while you're there because you'll get to see this face over this face. No, I'm not pointing at you. I'm giving it to you. <laughs> It's very dangerous. <laughs> I was letting you have this face. And this face. Yeah, you see? Okay, now I don't feel good about it. <laughs> so let's go ahead and start with something easy to actually recognize. Sour Patch Kids. Cheetos. And milk and cereal. It looks like fruity cereal. I'm not sure if it's fruity cereal. It has or just... to, they, they made it look like fruity cereal, so it has to be fruity cereal. So that has to be a fruit loopy. Yes, because it's false advertisement in my opinion. Okay. Mm. And by the way, we got this from Hoshimi Slimes. I've never heard of them before, but it was heavily advertised on Instagram. I'm like, you know what? Let's get, let's do this. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> Our first victim. You mean, yeah, yeah, victim. It's victim, not it's a not a kid. <laughs> Sour Patch Kids. For those of you who don't know Sour Patch Kids, it's basically a super sour gummy. gummy. Bear. So if you like sour gummies, just think of that scent and we should be getting that type of direction. I really love the colors on this box. It's super colorful, looks very playful. I'm curious what it is. Is it sprinkles? Is it a piece of clay, glitter? I think it's clay. I think it's clay. Clay shavings? Yeah. Hmm. All right, now for the sniff test. <laughs> Smells like cherry. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yes. Okay, it's not just me. I was like, Sour Patch Kids don't smell like cherries usually. But this does smell like a gummy cherry. Yeah. Okay, you ready to touch? Yeah. Okay, go. Oh. Uh, has it a feels... Play Doh. <laughs> what were you gonna say? It feels like it has sugar coating. It feels like a sugar coated candy. Yeah. No, when you touch it, it feels like it has sugar coating. Yeah. Okay, let's pull it out. You okay? Yeah. The middle's like white, and then it's the outside that's colored, eh? Yeah. You're Marshall so Canadian, Marshall eh? Eh? <laughs> So the texture itself, from what you can see here, is extremely firm, but it has like this cloudiness to it's it. It's very at that. fluffy. Look at that. It has this stringy fluffiness to it that makes it almost feel like kinetic sand. Look at that. That is very kinetic sandy. Does it make any noise? I don't think so. No. It's too fluffy. 
Oh, I smell the sour. Oh, I think I smell it here. Oh, wow. Do you smell it? Yeah, I do. Right? It's still very cherry though. Yeah, it's definitely very cherry, but for some reason you can also smell the sour in there. And I really love this soft, cloudy texture. Look at that. I really like this. Oh, and the smell. Look are at you, this. Are you having... <laughs> <laughs> Does it taste like Sour Patch? <laughs> Actually, there's no flavor. No, my God. Yeah, this is fun. I like this. I really like the texture. That's not what I was expecting. No, and the more you mix it, the more you actually taste. You taste. go mix it. Ah! No, no. <laughs> it droops fast. Here, you can have it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. How would you rate it? I would say the feeling and the scent. I would definitely, especially with the little pieces over here. Oh my god, it's so fun. Right? I would give this an 8.5. I was gonna give it an 8. An 8? Okay, 8 to 8.5. I like how it stretches. Look at it. Look. Oh my god, it melts fast ah! <laughs> Wow, that's actually impressive. I wasn't expecting yeah, that. Yeah, I'm really impressed with this. Okay, now we're we have really to... high expectations. So the Sour Patch is worth, worth your cash. cash. <laughs> By the way, a huge shout out to Gothic Blue Eyes for making us these amazing art for Worth Your Cash in the Trash Skip. You know what? Make sure you check her out. Link will be down below. Next we have Lemon Cheetos. This should be a savory scent. So I have expectations. The only worry I have, and Sika noticed it as well, staining. Yeah, I really hope this is not going to stain our fingers. And this lime was actually one of the cheapest in the bunch, around $7. So do you think this one's gonna have the same weird texture or different? I think this one's gonna probably have the same texture. So like cloudy? Yeah, I think so. And just looking from the inside, it seems somewhat similar. But now I think it's time to have our sniff test. You ready? I'm a little afraid, but okay, let's do this. Okay, ready? go. It smells like corn chips. Right? <laughs> yeah, it does smell like corn, corn chips, but no flavor. Buttery. Yeah. Yeah, it smells buttery. Maybe we need to mix it. You go mix it? We go mix I'm it. Go mix it. I go mix it. I go mix it. Okay. Oh, yeah, same texture. Oh, oh, Ooh, I oh got that came one. out one. <laughs> okay, half seas. Oh, oh. It's like cheers. Holy carp. Okay, no, you take this. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Don't jackie me. <laughs> so as you can see here, we have two different colors. We have an orange and a red, which is very similar to that of Cheetos. I don't like how it smells. And it has a very similar, I'm not ignoring you, okay? I'm just trying to explain. Very cloudy <laughs> texture to it. What does it smell like? Hang on, let me mix it. I mixed it. Here, smell this one. Yeah, that's my reaction too. <laughs> okay, hear me out. It smells like corn chips but stale. Yeah. Right? I, yeah. Yeah, because I was like, it smells like corn. It smells a little buttery. Don't smell the Cheeto in it. Like, I don't smell the cheese or the... Are they supposed to be flaming hot or not necessarily? It's supposed to be spicy. Okay. But yeah, I don't smell the cheese either. I don't like the smell. <laughs> it just has a really stale chip flavor scent. So, like, the chips in your pantry? <laughs> I don't eat junk food often. What do you want from- Why are you gonna out me to the grains like that? Because I'm your sister and I have to air your dirty laundry. Most of the time what I'm eating is either brought from my place or if I'm really desperate, desperate I'll eat what's, what's um, stale. So for me compared to the first one, I would say this one is skeptical cash. Skeptical cash, I'd give it a four at most. Yeah, I would give it a 2.5. If you like corn chips. I was hoping for cheesy. Yeah, me too. We can't throw it in the trash because it does what it does. And it has a nice feeling. But it doesn't have the smell that it says it does. Which makes me cry. Oh no. Oh. Did they break it? Did you have They broke it in my heart. It's gone. All they give me is stale chips with salt. <laughs> with salt. <laughs> so, oh, oh, oh. Mm. But at least we didn't stain our fingers. No. We were actually surprised. The next one we have is milk cereal. Fruity cereal. Fruit, if she wants it to be fruity. It has to be. I'm gonna check. It has to be. <laughs> Okay, the reason she's doing this is because we just <laughs> checked the description and it does say Pernilps. So it is a fruity cereal. I was right. She was right. And it was seven dollars. Oh, you even checked the price? I just saw Pernilps. <laughs> I was like, ah. Alright, so let's see what the inside looks like. Ooh. Oh, wow. That is velvety. That is definitely not the same texture. No. Oh, my God. So oh. this is an actual slime. Ah, it's sticky. Oh, my God. It's Hang on, hang on. Do you need help? Don't help me. Okay. Don't do it. We need one clean hand. Is that what's yeah. happening? Okay, let's take a sniff. Oh. Wow! On point. That smells delicious. It's exactly like Fruit Loops. Yeah, it's exactly I'm like salivating. a fruity cereal. Holy carp! Mmm. Yeah, that's Fruit Loops 100%. Okay, but the issue. <laughs> just like, You're just like ah, strings everywhere. Okay, hang on. Don't touch me. You have string everywhere. Oh my god. Okay, touch me. Okay, touch you. Too. <laughs> 
don't know the strings everywhere. Okay, so this is definitely ways. Oh, oh. Did you touch a weird place? Maybe it was a weird spot. Let's just pull it out, but not on oh, my yeah. belt. Like, okay, here. Oh yeah, you see here is here is very oh. sticky. Let's just try and pull it out because we did see cereal at the bottom. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. Geez. I don't want to oh. help you, but I do. <laughs> oh. oh. Oops. Oh, watch your mouth! <laughs> Oi! Oh my gosh. Oh no, too sticky. Oh no. Maybe we need to mix it a bit. Let me just. We mix gonna mix it? it? We gonna mix it like we'll mix so. It. Look at that. It smells really good, but this is not what I Jackie's had. Jackie's on your desk. Oh no. Why is it so sticky for you? It's not. Is it you? No, it's not me. Is it sticky what? for you? No. Oh uh, yeah, a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, Sika? No, you need you need your hands to be clean. Jackie, drip it. No. I have this no. Oh, good. I have okay. This I need you to close the camera. Okay. We'll be back. Take it off. I can't move. I can't see the. Not this one. <laughs> they did include borax and instructions. <laughs> Help. <laughs> okay, so they did include borax and instructions. Uh, so we're gonna try and fix this. All right. So Seika has mixed the borax, but we haven't even taken out everything. So you just start with your fingers. Yeah, please. How, like a drop at a time. Like where am I yeah, going? Just a drop at a time. That's not my finger. That was my palm. <laughs> That's the palm of my hand. Well, just do this. Put like five drops or something. There you go. Oh wow. Okay. Well, you. What do you want from me? Oh, that feels better already. Yeah. It's okay. It's freeing you. <laughs> yeah, I'm free now. Okay. So we're gonna do this to the rem remainder of the slime, and we'll get back. So here we are basically, what, 20 minutes later? Yeah, I'd say about 20 minutes. Yeah, and it's still slightly sticky, but now at least... You can get your fingers away from it. Yeah, it, it took quite a bit of borax. So now, Sika, you can touch it. I'm scared. Oh. Oh no, don't stick. Uh, I don't know if I trust this slime. I'm not sure if it's done this way or if other slime shops do the same thing. Sika, what are you doing? I thought you said you fixed it. You see, you have it all over my hand now. Is that what you meant to do? No. You're drizzling me like a cinnamon thing. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't. Jackie. What, Jackie? <laughs> I'm not doing any. Look, now I'm all melty. For those of you who are into slime, let us know. Is this something typical that slime stores do, which is under activate so that you can make your own preference? Or is this just really very <laughs> under activated? I don't know about you grains, but this is a little too much. So in my opinion, it smells very good, but the slime is no. Yeah, we do get four different colors of little Fruit Loops in there, which are really fun if you can get to it. You can drizzle yourself. Careful. Okay. okay. <laughs> drizzle myself. Like, I wasn't thinking that. Why well, you gotta do it like this? <laughs> So in terms of stickiness, I will give it a zero. Yo, oh, you yeah. too. High five. Yeah. I'm all clean now. I'm scared I have a group. <laughs> but for the smell, I'm giving it a 10. Yeah, it smells exactly like a Fruit Loop, but it is not even slime quality. It's just like glue. <laughs> yeah, it's very gloopy. Like, but again, we don't have the experience that many of you do have when it comes to slime. So is it supposed to be that much under activated? Because the other two were good, perfect. But it's a different texture as well. It is. So, but it smells so good. It smells very good. I know mm. it smells edible. <laughs> So I think it ends up being an average of five. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a skeptical in that case, right? Yeah, but the fact that they do give us borax, at least it makes it so that you're not stuck trying to figure it out. Oh, <laughs> figure, figure it out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Figure it out. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Next, we're going to go ahead and do one of the weird kits, which is ramen. ramen flavored. For those of you who don't know ramen, it is a delicious dish. Japanese ramen is my favorite one because it's basically a broth soup with noodles, and sometimes they may or may not have eggs or veggies, depending on how you like it. And if we look on the website, the kit looks absolutely adorable. And this one here costs $12.75, so look at it. It has vegetables, it and has noodles, noodles and it has broth, you know what that means? Time to see what we get inside. Oh, oh it's open. <laughs> what? Cookie? Here's what we get inside. Chicken broth. We get an actual bowl to make it in. This is a really cute bowl. Chopsticks. And then this envelope, which I'm hoping has all the things that are mentioned or shown in the website. Like vegetables? Oh, oh. that's not peas. I guess this is like the Naruto and the Nori. Okay. So like the seaweed. Noodles! Oh my god, is it elastics? I think they are. That is actually clever. That's genius. I never thought of that. Me neither. Oh, look, it has the little packaging. Where's my peas? Oh, there they are. Is it styrofoam? Peas and carrots, yeah. Oh. Veggie pack. Look at that, a full carrot. Oh, the, the stem belongs to the carrot. Oh, what? It's so long. I didn't even notice. Yeah. All right. Let's... Wait, the cookie. Oh, it's true. And we did get a cookie, but we're not sure if it's a real fortune cookie or not. You know what that means. I mean, there's crumbs, so I'd like to think it's real. Maybe we get a fortune. Sniff it. 
smells very stale. Oh, mm -mm. it smells like Play-Doh. Doesn't smell very good, but I'm pretty sure it is a real cookie. Oh, oh, pomelo. Okay. Many successes will accompany you this year. Ooh. Very nice. High five. But I'm not gonna eat this. No, it smells, it smells very, very stale. stale. For science? No. No, Jackie, don't do it. <laughs> Did you throw it? Yes. Oh no, I wanted to try. No, it's gross. It's I wouldn't eat that. And that says a lot. Yeah, but you, you've seen the things I've put in my mouth. Sugar, so she's gonna have to try one. It also doesn't say not edible. Sugar. No way. Uh, sugar. And that's it for this envelope. Let's do the doing. Do we start with broth? Oh, let's sniff it first. It's supposed to smell like chicken soup. Ready? Yeah. Ah, ah, dang it. Okay, no, don't bring it that high. Dang we it. need control. It's sticky. Whenever you're in trouble, everybody needs someone like Jackie. Sniff it. No? It doesn't smell like anything. Maybe we need to mix it a little bit more? Because I really don't smell the chicken and veggies. Like, I thought it would smell um, salty at least. But there's just no scent to it. Again, let's mix it and see because I got it for the scent. Don't touch it with your hands. It looks sticky. No, nope, actually. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. That was good. Okay. Okay. Let's do this. All right. So the first thing we're putting is the slime. It's not as sticky as the first one, but it still has some good stickiness to it. But let's just keep it as is for now. All right, Sika stood up, which you know means that salt's getting real. All right, she's gonna put the elastic noodles. It By the way, smell. yeah, it smells like it smells like noodles. It smells like elastics. Yeah, I think that's good enough. And I've smelt everything, and nothing smells like chicken and vegetables. Nothing. Which is the biggest disappointment in this kit is that it clearly says what? chicken and vegetable scented. I'm so sad. I feel like there's gonna be a lot of peas and not a lot of like carrots. Carrots. Okay, that's good enough. Okay. And fish out the egg. Don't forget the egg. It's right here. Oh. <laughs> Where do you want the egg? Right in the center. Like a soul. <laughs> like a soul. And now we have our carrot. Okay. And the chopstick. It looks cute. It smells like nothing. No. Which I'm very, very disappointed. I was so excited. I'm like, oh my god, how do you recreate chicken and veggie broth? But they didn't. They completely skipped it. They're like, nah, no smell. You know what it's time for? We gonna mix it. We gonna mix it. <laughs> oh, oh that god. looks good. Look, that looks so fun, right? Here, try it. Oh my god. Grab it. I'm trying. I'm really bad at chopsticks. Oh my god. Dang it. So, oh, the egg. You got it? Yeah. How do you like it? It's so fun. It is really fun. But I'm just sad about the smell. Okay, bring it closer, Sika. I'm done with you right now. <laughs> All right, so here it is with everything on the inside. And I absolutely love the aesthetic. Look at that. It really looks like a broth. Yeah. They really got the color perfect. And even like the pieces, like the, the peas and everything, it's just, it's amazing. Did you freeze? Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> but it is super cute. Look at this. I love it. You can see the noodles. I would add a little bit more noodles. We can if you want. We could. But again, it's still a little bit on the sticky side. So we definitely need to add more borax. But it has a nice sound to it. Listen. So unfortunately, because of the lack of scent, I would say my disappointment level is pretty high, despite the fact that this is a really fun and cute kit. Creativity? 10. 10. Yeah, 100% sure. 10. Scent? Zero. Zero. So skeptical? Yeah, I would say skeptical cash. If you really wanted it to have the scent, definitely no. skeptical. But if you want it for the artistic part of it, worth it in my opinion. Yeah, so that's why for us it would be skeptical, skeptical cash. cash. Okay, we've added quite a bit of borax. I think it's your hands. I don't think it's my hands because this is... Jackie, stop goofing around. I'm not goofing around. I'm trying. Put it in. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Not too much. Oh my god. I don't know why. And These slimes are so sticky in comparison to the fluffy ones. The fluffy ones did not have this issue. There we go. You got it? Almost. Okay. Okay, hurry, hurry. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. You think the brat is like just evaporating or something? I don't know what's going on. I don't think it's gonna fit with everything. Check it! <laughs> Grains, let us know what is uh, this? Why? I think it's your hat. No, it's not. I'd like to see you hold it. You're refusing to hold it. I did not refuse. You're like, don't touch it. My hands are fine. What's wrong with you, you weirdo? <laughs> <laughs> A few moments later. Oh, no. What are you doing now? We don't need more borax. Just get it off your fingers. <laughs> Our next victim kit is dumplings. I'm sad, it's not gonna work. According to the website, this should be smelling like ramen. bread and ramen. Bread. <laughs> I was like, maybe she's gonna change. I'm like, maybe she'll come around. 
So it's supposed to smell like bread, savory bread and ramen, but we just did ramen and it smelled like nothing. Right, so unless the scent was forgotten in the previous kit, we don't know how this one's gonna smell. I'm hoping they just forgot to put the scent in the last one and this one actually smells like something. I hope so, especially if we look on the website. By the way, this kit is $12.75. This looks absolutely adorable. The actual buns look like buns. I miss dim sum so Dump bad. Dumpling. I know, but I miss dim sum. I'm like over salivating. Now. I know, I'm missing it so bad. But in order to know if we're disappointed or not, we gotta see what we get inside. Ooh, so cute. Another, oh. <laughs> Why? we get inside one dumpling even though on the box itself we saw three dumplings and on the website itself also it showed that they were divided into three but we got just one big but it's one big one that you could make technically three if you wanted to we get the actual slime and looking on the Instagram we found that this slime consistency is supposed to be nice and stretchy and not sticky at all we're hoping that it's the same thing fingers crossed fingers crossed as you can see on the screen it looks very nice very beautiful so we have that expectation we get dumpling sauce this is a really nice color. It does actually look like it. Yeah, it does. And this here, which is supposed to be a green onion insert, chopsticks, and a cookie. Don't do it, Jackie. For science. Jackie? For science. Ah! Oh, you got it in the trash. <laughs> Did I? <laughs> Why aren't you letting me try? No, it's super stale. It is very stale. It was like all crumpled and stuff. So it, was it looks very, like a very old cookie. Very stale. But you know what we gotta do now? Sniff. Yeah. So as you can see here, we have the inserts, well, the filling for the uh, bow, bum, dumplings, bumblings, bumblings. <laughs> bumblings. So this is what's supposed to smell like bread and ramen. This or this? This. Or this? No, that was close to my face. I felt the air like. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it smells like cinnamon. Oh, it smells like cinnamon. 100% cinnamon. <laughs> I like the smell of cinnamon. Yeah, but it's not supposed to be a dumpling. No, the dumpling is supposed to be ramen, which is chicken. You okay? <laughs> you took a really big breath there. <laughs> you okay, honey? It's very cinnamon. I'm scared now. What if the package was like misdone oh. and then our cinnamon one smells like bread? <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> okay, look. Ooh. Look at that. It's actually working. Yeah, it's not sticky and gross. Uh, yeah, go ahead and play. Maybe the other ones were done on purpose like that? I don't know. Oh, it feels weird. Right? It's so cinnamony. It's so cinnamony. <laughs> you can taste it. You know those red candies? Yes. <laughs> you know exactly what I'm talking about. The heart candies. The heart candies. That's what it smells like. And if like. you don't know what the heart candies are, just think of pure cinnamon. Or like the cinnamon gum. That's what it smells like. Yeah, that's true too. I'm so sad. I was looking forward to savory Bread. scented slimes. You okay? Yeah, I'm just oversniffing it. <laughs> okay, that's overstimulation for Sika. Ah! Look at that. So the slime itself is nice. It has some really so nice... <laughs> you do realize that my hand smells exactly the same, right? No, but it, like I didn't expect it to sit on my hand. Wait, we good? <laughs> Okay. Do you want to sniff this? No, I don't! <laughs> Wait! So here it is. It really looks cute with all these little embeds in there that looks like pepper. Yeah. We have the vegetables, the corn. So it's kind of cute. The slime consistency is definitely Much better. spot on compared to the other two. So here's our clay and then our sauce. You want to go ahead and open it? It smells like chocolate. Oh, that does smell like chocolate. Oh, Hoshimi slime, please. If you're gonna promise. Savory. Savory. This has got to be savory. This is chocolate and cinnamon. Chocolate and cinnamon. All right, put, put some on here so we can all squish it together. Let's go. Wait, you have to mix it. How's the consistency? I broke it. Yeah, the consistency is definitely also way better than the other yeah, one. Yeah, it's a little sticky, but nothing like the other ones. Yeah. Ah, Jay! Just okay, 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 I'm just gonna put some of the sauce, as they did in their video. There. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Alright, so here we go. And smush. Ooh. Smush. Okay. Smush. Okay. And now, some mix. Okay. Do you need help? Yes. Do you want to give me a piece? Here. Okay. The whole thing? The whole thing. Okay. So now we have a firmer consistency. Sorry, is my big head in the way? Yeah, your big head is in the way. So how does it feel? It smells yeah, it's very cinnamony. Yeah, it, this is 100% chocolate cinnamon scented. Sad? Yes. Yes. But... Nice texture? Yes. Yes. So if you're looking for something that is savory scented, no. But if you're looking for a nice texture and a cute tiny activity, yeah. Which again means that for me, this would be skeptical cash. Hoshimi Slimes is super generous because they do fill the entire thing with the slime. 
<laughs> but the problem is once we start mixing all the inserts, it's not big enough. So you're going to end up having to use your own kind of container because this is just not enough or you're going to have to divide it somehow. What is that? Oh, a piece of slime. <laughs> So here it is filled up, and here's the entire extra that we have. Next we have Reese's Peanut Butter Cup, which is probably one of my favorite chocolates, chocolates in addition to Twix. I think my favorite one is Reese and Kit Kat, especially Japanese Kit Kats. Mm -hmm. So good. They have strawberry flavor. They have apple. They have wasabi. They have wasabi? They do have wasabi. Yeah. And for this kit, it seems like similarly to the previous one, we're also getting a clay piece. I am referring to their website. We're also getting a fluffy peanut butter. So it seems like the cloudy one that we had before and a chocolate syrup. And in theory, it should smell like peanut butter cups. Let's see if that's true or not. Watch this one be savory. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> imagine. Time to see what we get inside. <laughs> I don't know. So what fell? Oh, that's cute. A little charm. Here's what we get inside. Chocolate clay. And just to be clear, these were wrapped. It's just we took them out so that you grains can see it. We get the Reese's base of slime. Looking again at the Instagram, it looks like it shouldn't be a sticky type. Looks fluffy. It looks fluffy. We get the chocolate syrup. Reese's pieces. The cute little charm. And that's it. That's it. Sniff tests, it better smell like peanut butter. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah definitely 100% smells exactly like peanut butter. Like if you stuffed your nose in peanut butter. That's gonna probably smell like the dumpling sauce. Probably. Yeah, it does. Yeah, which which was chocolate. Yep. Okay, let's mix it. We go mix it. We go mix it. <gasps> that is a nice texture. Look at that. Oh, look at I that. I thought it was supposed to be fluffy. Oh, it is kind of fluffy. It's a different fluffy. Yeah, a different fluffy. Mm. It does have a peanut butter-esque texture. Texture, yeah. Right? Yeah. It's a little grainy. It's actually not sticking. Like, it's pretty wet. Yeah, this is nice. Huh. Just so you grains can see it. Look oh, at that. It's so peanut buttery. Yeah, it's super peanut buttery. Very nice texture. And at $9, this was one of the cheaper kits. It is sold out. It probably is one of the better I, ones. Yeah, I think it is one of the better kits that are like the boxed ones that you're making. Yeah. So this is the best one I think so far in texture. So here we go. And the Reese's Pieces. Drizzle first or Reese's or it doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. Go for the drizzle. Oh my god, it's so sticky, Jackie. Oh, that is goopy. Jackie, don't drizzle! I got you. <laughs> oh no. Jackie. No, now don't touch. Don't touch! I'm trying to get it off you! No! Hang on. Oh my god. There. Look Do you want me to just mix it? No. <laughs> no. Hang on. Just dip your finger into the borax. No. Okay. <laughs> okay, do this. You got this. I got this and squish. Look at that. Wow. That looks really good. I feel like this clay is like more squishy than the dumpling. Yeah, I feel like this kit is definitely fresher. Fresher. Yeah, I think look so too. Look at that. It smells so good. Does this not look like chocolate peanut butter? Yes, it does. Oh my god, it smells so good. And you can put your little charm right there. Does it smell good? Yes. Was it fun and easy to make? Yeah. yeah. It's fairly simple. I thought we would make the slime completely out of scratch, much like the other kits. That's just not how this one works. They basically give you everything you need to combine it together. The slime's already ready for you. Yeah, so I would say that if you're looking for just a mixture type kit that smells good and has a good consistency, this one is worth, worth your cash. cash. Again, I have this much extra versus this one that's packed. There's a little bit of an air bubble, but it definitely won't take all of this. So before we get on to the Lady Gaga Oreo kit, let's go ahead and do a rapid fire of smelling and touching because at this point we know the consistency if it's going to be extra sticky or not and we want to know if the smell is on point exactly so i think that would be the best route which means our next one is going to be salad <laughs> and i'm really curious about this one because it's really supposed to smell like melon. cucumber melon right yes we're just gonna keep putting our words together we're simpatico not today <laughs> anyways to the salad it comes with a really cute baggie full of little trinkets that have mushrooms carrots cucumbers tomatoes it's adorable so first the smell that's a lot of beads that means the texture should be really fun and crunchy <laughs> Oh! It's actually well done. This is so good! It actually smells like cucumber and melon. Yeah, it smells really refreshing. Yeah, definitely. And the feeling... What? <sighs> it's very thick. Listen, hang on. Very crunchy! Yeah, and it's not sticky. 
So far, no. No, very nice. I don't think we're gonna take it out, but if you do want to see me play around with some of the slimes that we haven't tested here, make sure you check me on TikTok. It is at Salty Crafter. I will link it down below. So okay. this one I would say, especially with all the trinkets, worth, worth your cash. cash at $7. All the rest are $7. And now we have baguettes. It's supposed to smell like bread fresh out of a bakery. And we know baguettes because we are on the French side of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> They smell super good when out of the bakery, so we have high hopes on this. Levels up here. If you mess this up, there's no consequences, it just sucks. Yeah, it just sucks. <laughs> That's basically it. And you can see there's a little bit of a shimmer and some, I guess, poppy seeds. I don't know if that's the point, but the point is it's supposed to smell like, like bread. It smells like vanilla. Yeah, it just smells like vanilla, which is not bread. Okay. You just salivated though. <laughs> you want cake? It smells like cake batter. It smells like, yeah. Right? Yeah. You wanna touch it? All right, and go. Oh! <laughs> yeah, that is a nice texture. 100%. Yeah. Not as sticky. Not sticky, nice and cloudy. Look at that. Make it's sure so weird how they have so many different textures of slime that they're making. Yeah, so this one is definitely a nice fluffy texture. Does it smell like bread? No. No, it smells absolutely like vanilla cake, cake. batter. So yep. if you're hoping for bread, no. So again, for a baguette scented slime, skeptical cash. Zika? It's skeptical, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next, we actually have peach fuzz. And I'm really excited about this one. I'm hoping it's going to smell like peach. Now I'm scared it's going to smell like birthday cake. Oh. <laughs> The ramen smells like nothing. And the dumpling smells like cinnamon. Yep. And the cinnamon. We, we haven't, we haven't done cinnamon yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that little peach caught us both by surprise. And it, yeah, look at that. It looks like a sandy textured. Yeah, I think it's like the fluffy oh, yeah, type. Oh, yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I like these ones too. We didn't even sniff it yet. No, but I can smell it from here. Oh, very peachy. Yeah. And we get a peach cabochon, and it's only one. But the texture is nice. It's not gross and sticky in any way. And it actually smells like peach. So this one would be worth, worth your cash. <laughs> Next, we have cinnamon bun. I mean, nothing can smell more cinnamony than the dumplings. Yeah, so I'm a little afraid. So it should smell basically the same thing. And it has whipped cream. It does come with whipped cream. We're not going to test the whipped cream on this one. We're just going to test the consistency and the, the scent. Smell. And again, if you want to check all the stuff that I did, didn't try TikTok. Ready? Oh, oh, oh. That's not a good sign. Oh no, that That's is not, not a good sign. sign. You ready? Yeah. This is, it smells a lot less cinnamon. Hello? <laughs> Cinnamon? It's like a very light cinnamon. Compared to the dumpling? Yeah, the dumpling was like overpowering. Oh, like, is look it at like the, the texture. Oh. oh, look at the texture. It's grainy. Yeah. What is this? Hang on, let me show you guys. Ah. Oh. So here it is. It looks super grainy. It's like peanut butter. Yeah. I'm not sure how that's going to be cinnamon bun, but it is a very pleasant texture. However, it's way less cinnamon. Yeah, the dumplings were way more cinnamony. They were but actually very overwhelming in my opinion. There is a little bit of a vanilla scent. Yeah. I can see where this is going. It does smell like a cinnamon bun though, because cinnamon buns aren't overly powering. Right, but the texture is absolutely phenomenal. Yeah. You know what? Let's also smell the whipped cream. Yeah. I wonder if it actually smells like anything. Ew. Is it mirror smells acidic? It smells like a failed vanilla. Yeah, so this is super fluffy. Maybe let's mix it a little bit. Mm -mm. Absolutely not. It does smell like vanilla, but it just smells weird. The texture is phenomenal. The scent is just no way. The scent is vanilla, but like made with bad milk. Yeah, definitely sour milk. And so without the sour milk whipped cream, I would say that the texture and the light scent, I would say skeptical cash. I think it's worth it. Yeah? Yeah, as long as you remove the whipped cream, it's worth it. Yeah, the whipped cream is just it's absolutely- It's not sour. Yeah, very sour. I no. Mm -mm. No, no, no. Sour milk is no good. Gross. And at $12.75, we have the Oreo Lady Gaga Special Edition Kit. I've never had the Lady Gaga actual Oreo cookies. Neither have I. I don't even know if they made it to Canada. I think I saw them. For those of you who have no Not idea sure. what we're talking about, they were trending all over the internet, and this is what they look like. Here you have it on screen. I didn't get it. You? Nope. 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 It's a lot of coloring for my belly, I think. And they were pretty sold out, so. Yeah. All right, without further delay, Time to see what we get inside. <laughs> and technically we're supposed to be getting six cookies, I think. Well, we're also supposed to be getting three dumplings, but you know, I am- oh. oh, are these real cookies? <laughs> we're actually getting the cookies? They're not expired yet. <laughs> they expire in a month. <laughs> oh, so we actually do get to try the cookie. What the heck? So we I get- I wasn't expecting that. Well, thank you, Hoshimi Slimes. That's a very lovely surprise. So keep going. Oh. 
By the way, I also got a microphone, so I'm really curious how it's going to sound with some of these slimes. So if you're curious about that, make sure you join me on TikTok at Salty Crafter. So we get a, I guess, clay cookie. We get the slime. And we also get some glitter and some kind of plasticky beady inserts. Sniff test time. It's fruity. It smells like Play-Doh. No. It smells like Play-Doh fruit. Okay, I see where you're coming from. Yeah. But it does have a pretty fruity baby smell. food. That is not what baby food smells like. I love baby food and it does not smell like that. Kind of. I can smell the strawberry. Oh, oh. Getting to your face. How come it didn't stick to you? I don't know. It's just like before. The watermelon stuck to me. Maybe it has something to do with skin temperature. I think it depends on how far you go in there. Ah! <laughs> Yeah, this one's definitely way stickier and you're going to have to use the borax. Again, those of you who know about slime, let us know why it does that and how we can avoid it. But I do smell the strawberry a little bit of further away and the peach also a little far away. But the texture is definitely too sticky for me. So it's not a ready to use type slime. Sika, are you okay? I'm trying to get all of it off. I'm like, yeah, I can't do it. Maybe yeah. if we mix it in with the clay, it'll be less bad. Look at that. So, dig it. <laughs> okay, I need to focus on me right now. Ah! Okay, so we're just gonna take a little bit Oh my god. Oh my god. Are you okay? I don't like this. All right, so here we go. I can't get it off. Okay. Oh my gosh, you really went to town. It looks like someone went into like, um, really dug deep. What? It's like a sticky booger. Okay, I thought something else. Oh! What? <laughs> All right, so here we go with our Lady Gaga cookie. Cookie. And some mush. Some mush. Oh, oh my god, oh my god, so sticky. I don't like the stickiness. It's too extra. There we go, Clay, please. Do your thing. Do your thing, Clay. Look at that, this is, oh my god, why? Why is it this sticky? I don't get it. I don't think it's supposed to be this sticky. Oh wow, that looks gross, I didn't even look over. Right? And here it is after quite a bit of the borax. It's a lot more manageable, but holy carp. And uh, we barely used any of the slime too. Yeah, and it has a lot of clay on there, which means that clay is not sticky, so it should have helped. Oh no. So despite the fact that it is really sticky, they still do give us the borax and say, make it until it's sti not sticky enough and to your preference. I know that slime is very subjective. I can't really say that it would go in the trash because there's the anticipation of using the borax. Sika? You pretty much said it all. You, you didn't give me space to say much. <laughs> Which means for us, it would still be skeptical cash. Why did I say that alone? Because you wanted to say something <laughs> okay, on your own. Thank you. <laughs> you get some spotlight. Okay, thank you, <laughs> Last thing we're gonna try is the cookie. Does it actually taste like peach and strawberry? I have no clue. You wanna sniff it? Sure. It smells like dope. I'm scared now. So here it is. Oh my god, the amount of colorant on this. Like, oh my god. Sorry. Give me you the smaller piece. Okay, you don't have to swallow though. No. It tastes like the vanilla Oreo with just colorant in it. I don't like it. For me, it just tastes like raw cookie batter. Yeah. I'm not crazy for it. I'm just not gonna leave it, right? I ate it. There. As mentioned at the beginning of today's video, we are sponsored by Boksu, who are absolutely huge supporters of this channel and my favorite Japanese snack subscription box. But Jackie, why are they your favorite? I am glad you asked. In addition from being authentic Japanese snack boxes that ship from Japan, Boksu also partners up with over 100 years old companies that can give you exclusive, fun, delicious things. And unlike many other boxes, it's not just full of dagashi, which are basically inexpensive type treats. As a first time subscriber, you will be getting something called Seasons of Japan, which will be a variety of snacks from different seasons. And then after that, every month you'll be getting different themes depending on what's going on. I've already had the Seasons of Japan box and I absolutely love it, but you know what? I have favorites, even though it's hard to choose favorites, but let's try a couple of my favorite favorites. Almori Apple Caramel. Oh yes. Look how succulent this looks. Ooh. Mm-hmm, mm. Oh, I need a tea now. Mm. Seaweed Tempura. Crispy and seaweedy. Mmm. And citrusy. Mmm. By far one of my favorite savory snacks. Mochi Puffs Kinako. Like airy donuts. Mmm. 
It just melts in your mouth. Mm. In the box, you'll also be getting a mini catalog where you'll know where your snacks come from in different parts of Japan, as well as what allergens are there and whether it's vegetarian friendly or not. This has helped me a lot because Pat is pretty allergic to a few things. So I really appreciate that. And of course, cultural information. I've always been a huge fan of Japanese snacks because they're not too sweet nor too salty. It feels like the balance is always spot on. So if you're ready to try your own Japanese snacks, might I say the premium ones, check the link down below and use the code NERDYCRAFTER10 to get 10% off your order, which is up to $47. Thank you, Boxu, for sponsoring today's video. Remember, if you want to find Sika, you can find her at Nerdy Sister underscore Sika. <laughs> and don't forget to follow me on Twitch. I do game live streams over there, so I hope to see you there. If you want to watch the previous Cash or Trash, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch me testing out hacks, make sure you check down here. Until then, we will see you brains in the next video.